Oh, I'm so tired. Why's that? I couldn't fall asleep last about like uh, 2 a.m. and then I woke up at like 6. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Anime reflux. So I, I'm, Hi. How's, how's everybody doing? I might just fall asleep during this. Don't do that. Mid sentence. Uh, it would be hilarious. So. We we all watched this anime a while ago because we didn't record for a while. Um, Noragami. Sorry, I sh I should check the spelling so I pronounce it right. Uh, Noragami, yeah. So it's Noragami. Uh, okay. It's like origami, but with an N. Yeah, Casey's paying attention. It's all good. Everything's good. Uh, so yeah, this is a show that's a little bit so later, kind of. Uh, yeah. Except not really. It just all. has the transforming people thing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all it comes down to. Um, <clears throat> so this show starts as many good shows do. And in that start, it has uh, a dude using a lady as a weapon to fight monsters. And he's a cocky shitlord about it a little bit. But in a hero tropey way rather than an asshole way. Um... <clears throat> And he kills all the monsters, and yay. And then Lady transforms back into a person, and then she tells him off for being a shitty god that doesn't even have a shrine. And then she leaves. <laughs> she also calls his hands disgusting and sweaty. I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Later, loser, I quit. Yeah. Uh. So... He's like, oh shit, I can't actually do half of my job without, uh, I forget what it was called, the weapon, let's just call it for the sake of convenience. Um, <clears throat> but he goes back to doing his job, which is uh, granting wishes, you know, like a uh, wish granting shrine kind of thing, that kind of god. Yeah. Uh... And then we switch to girls, just sort of, I forget what they were talking about. Help me out. Um, they're hobbies, I believe, and it turns out the main character really likes martial arts. Right, or okay. Rather thinks the martial artist that she's a fan of is hot. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, it was like, um, was it kickboxing or an MMA Fight I think it was uh, advertisements for. It's either that or judo. I think it might yeah. have been judo. Yeah, and uh, she's super hyped about it, and they're down about it. And in the background, we have God Dude, uh, just shouting, trying to find a cat, calling for it. Even though cats don't come when you call for them, that's not how that works. Uh, because no. we see a missing pet poster for the cat and he's looking for the cat and he wanders into the street and fighting otaku girl sees a truck coming and she shoves him out of the way and dies And then well, the tone the, and setting of the show completely thing. changes and she gets isekai'd into... No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Imagine if it did, though. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. It's, it, I, I don't like that trucks are immediately like, no, isekai. That, that, I don't like that. Because it's a convenient plot. Well, it is a convenient plot point, so... 
making it less easy is actually probably a good thing. Anyway. I remember the, the Isekai truck manga where the guy rode, he drove a truck to keep, run people over as part of a hero delivery service. Yeah. I, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, is she dead? Basically. Effectively. Uh, her soul is outside of her body. <clears throat> And then she's not dead and in the hospital. <clears throat> I forget quite how this happened, but yeah. She died, but she got better. Uh, and then God Dude shows up again and he's like, hey, sup? And then they get into an argument. I kind of forget why. Uh, <clears throat> he basically comes off as the most arrogant person on the planet. And she's not about that. And freaking out about the fact that she died, basically. Oh, yeah. Um, I, yeah. Uh, so, the, her family asked about why she ran into the street like that. And she said there was a dude. He was, I saved him and stuff and they're like I didn't see well whatever it's fine you're okay so that's you know thank god uh, um, and then he comes in late that night and is like hey I'm a god I'm super cool worship me and stuff and she's just like no and tries to call the police I think at one point uh, for the crazy man in her room and then I don't remember. He's yeah. like, "Oh, I'll be a god that everyone bows and prays to in big color lights, robe, and then uh, he just kind of leaves." Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, he said his piece. Now it's now he just goes away. Go yeah, off. and then okay, we bye. move on, and she's back to her daily life, and she sees that poster for that cat, and she's like, "Hey." I'm going to see if I can find that cat. And she tries calling for the cat, which again, that's fucking stupid. That's not a... Whatever. Uh... Yeah, there's really no explanation as to why she suddenly goes from not caring about the cat to needing to find it. Hmm. If I remember it. I can't, I can't recall a reason. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so, uh, as this is going on, uh, God Dude realizes, "Hey, monsters and shit is happening." I should probably well, she do was, something uh, about that. The reason why she was interested in the cat was because uh, <clears throat> she says, "I remember there was a guy in sweats when I was chasing this cat." So, uh, or somebody else says that, and she's like, "Wait." Is that that one god dude? If I find him, I'll find the god dude. And so she's going to look for the cat to find the god dude. Ah, right. Okay. So she gets caught by a weird monster thing and kind of kicks its ass a little bit, if memory serves. And then the god yeah. dude shows up and he's like, hey, we should fucking leave. Uh... <clears throat> it's, it's, it's actually pretty funny. When she's watching the the MMA or whatever from earlier, the the guy gets grabbed and then he uses the other leg to round a house kick the thing and the, the other guy in the face. Right. Yeah. And she does that to the monster. Learned, it's just unexpected. Learned that from the 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 fighting that she likes. Hmm. <clears throat> and then they run away and um, the god. Um, it's like, hey, so uh, your soul's out of your body. Look, you got a tail. Hmm. Yeah, so... Where is my body? It's like, it's it's kind of strung over that fence. Yeah. You didn't make it over the fence. So he kind of explains it like, it's almost like... narcolepsy for... death. Instead of falling asleep, you die for a little bit and jump out of your body. Oops. Pretty much, 
So if you pay me, I can help you with your problem. She's like, ah, oh, really? You're going to extort me? He's like, yeah, that's I'm a, right. I'm, I'm, I'm a god. Just, that's how this I'm works. You make a donation, and then I grant your wish. That's, she's like, have you not been to like, a wish-granting shrine before? And she's like, how much? And he's like, five yen! He holds up five hand, five fingers, and she thinks yeah. he means like 500,000. Mm. He's like, and five then, uh, yen. The joke is that he, he, it's just five. Yeah, it's, you know... He's a god that will do anything for just a small donation of five yen. That, yeah, again, literally, really wish granting shrines. Kind of that's how they work. No, again, <laughs> wish granting shrines. You're not listening to me on this. That's how they work. Yes. You make a tiny donation into the offertory box and pray that a god will help you do whatever you're trying to do. That's all it takes. It's the granting the wish that gives power because it makes someone worship them. Uh, so, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'll help you if if five yen, gimme, and he takes the coin, flips it, and does the you know, snatch it out of the air thing. Uh, I forget how it ends. <laughs> and they're like, okay, then I guess we're gonna work together now, and then we have credits. Okay. Cool. Yeah. This was pretty good. I. It seems like I was not really interested because of how scatterbrained and, you know, forgetful of actually what happened in it I am. But this is because I'm working my ass off and also because I watched this weeks ago. So it's very much slipped out of my direct consciousness. And I forgot we were recording for this. So I'm just kind of, ah, a little bit. But it was very good. It was, it was an interesting uh, setup, and I like how the characters were introduced, personally. I'm just I'm just glad I saw it at double speed. It's not like it was boring or anything, but things were pretty slow-paced for the first part, of it, which is not abnormal. But. I, I don't know... Um, I don't know how well the anime adapts the source material, but I did read the manga, and I remember, like, I read it for wide a ways and I, I did like it and I like the way it kind of the story kind of expands and they introduce other gods and um, you kind of learn more about uh, our main character's sort of role in here and why he is like the most broke god there is um, but yeah I, I remember I really liked the world building here as they kind of expand upon it uh, in later arcs and stuff yeah, so it's you know it's 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 pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, the dub is you know, it's it's a fairly recent dub, so it's you know decent quality. Nothing to complain about on it. Mhm. Mm yeah. I didn't even realize that there was a dub, so I just yeah. don't see that. It needs to be better. <laughs> Linking those. Shit. What the fuck's wrong with me? I woke up like three <laughs> hours ago. Why am I so tired? All right. F hey, hey, five. Huh? Oh, right. Let me get the thing. E. Oh, not many E's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, nine E's. I've forgotten right. what yellow and means on this I, table. Number nine. Whatever. Number nine. What's the last one on there? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. oh. hmm. It's uh, irony that uh, we have uh, our anime list on a spreadsheet because the anime is Excel Saga. Uh Get it? <laughs> That's a bad joke, but it makes me giggle. I do get it. Yeah. All right. Anime about I can read this. Fucking accounting. <laughs> I can read this plot summary. Okay. Hyperactive Excel does anything and everything to try to please her lord, Il Palazzo. Il pa yeah, Il Palazzo. Is it who Zs? wants to take over the planet? Is it two Zs? Excels or... two Zs. 
Palazzo. El Palazzo, who wants to take over the planet. Excel's misadventures takes her and her partner, the ever-dying Hyatt, all over the world, meeting several strange people as they go. Everything is bizarre and goofy, as any kind of anime or entertainment genre gets mocked and spoofed. It's a parody! All right. Made in 1999. Uh, so, a little bit... Um, that one anime that was a parody that I forget the name of that went on for a really long time. I don't know. You're not giving me anything. I don't know. I, th I think it started with G. Well, Excel Saga, um... It's gonna bother me. As a manga originally came out in 1996. So the era of anime and slash manga that it is parodying is going to be 90s, if not a little bit older. It's kind of a, an, an interesting thing. I, I didn't know that there was something like this existed. Come on, I'm just trying to find the thing. Gintama. That was it. That was the name of it. I remember it now. Gintama, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. God, it wouldn't come in my, into my brain because I didn't watch I it. Was, I didn't I like it, but yes. I didn't really like Gintama because it was, it was too... It was too steeped in cultural references that like don't translate well across these. Mm. There was a lot of those, yeah. But this one does have a dub, so maybe that one, that this one will. Oh God, wait, nineteen ninety nine dub. A nineteen ninety nine dub. Let's oh, go. No. Yeah. Oh God, it's gonna be like the Hunter Hunter dub. It's gonna be so a nineteen ninety nine dub for a parody anime. Come on! Oh no! This sounds like the worst, best thing. Oh no! Okay, like uh, all right. I guess we're doing Excel Saga. Oh man, I'm excited now. I'm waking up. Mm. I I still feel like I'm going to pass out, but I'm waking up. Hmm. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Bye, everybody. See you guys. See ya.